uh, international master program, which is already uh, pretty long available. Uh, we do exist since uh, 25 years, so we, we have a very long record of experience. And uh, there are a couple of uh, differences in our program as compared to the other programs uh, which you have seen, which we would like to elaborate a little bit on uh, during the presentation. For example, uh, we avoid uh, to force you to apply through UniAssist because this simply doesn't really work well. You can apply directly at our university. Very important, we will share the uh, slides afterwards and uh, the uh, main contact data here is uh, provided on the first page. Uh, you can uh, either contact us anytime by email and of course, please also do have a look at our website. So things like, for example, the module description, a detailed description of our courses, our labs, our admission requirements, all that can be found uh, online. And uh, by using the email address, uh, you will actually send an email to uh, Sabine Francois, who is also in the meeting. She's acting as uh, course coordinator. Um, and uh, to me, uh, will be sent and one of us uh, will answer usually within one. Okay, so uh, what are we? Uh, well, we first of all, we are a University of Applied Science, which is uh, at the moment on the uh, edge of uh, becoming a uh, European university, one of the few in uh, Germany uh, who is uh, moving in that direction. So we have a couple of very strong partnerships inside Europe, Dublin, uh, in, in Troy, in uh, Catalina, in uh, Spain, in uh, Cyprus and some others which also allows you to, to attend classes from the other universities if you are interested. We are a uh, large university of applied science. So we have around about 17,000 uh, students uh, in uh, 12 faculties. So more or less everything you can uh, study in a university of applied science is available in uh, Darmstadt, which is kind of a typical situation. We have a couple of uh, large University towns, technical university towns like Aachen, Munich, Karlsruhe, and Darmstadt. And besides the uh, very large TUs, we usually also have a very large uh, University of Applied Science in these locations. This actually has the big advantage that the universities are pretty well known. Uh, so uh, attendees or, or uh, uh, students who are finishing our program uh, usually have no problem at all finding a great job in the industry. Well, this is a picture of one part of our campus. So we are located in the center of Darmstadt. Uh, it's a rural area. Frankfurt is very close by, uh, Mainz and, and some other cities. Uh, and as you can see, it's it's a, well, not one of the largest cities in Germany, but a pretty large town, uh, with, which still has a lot of green uh, parks and, and mountains around us. So uh, from the quality of living uh, also definitely a interesting area. And if you actually are, are interested to dive a little bit deeper into how our campus look like, simply Google HDR and uh, 360 degree, and then you will actually be guided to this website, which uh, allows you uh, to go for a virtual walk around the campus. How does our university look like? Well, we are old, but uh, we are still innovative and, and modern. Uh, so this is actually a view, uh, just a few impressions, our student cafe, uh, our uh, learning halls where students actually can work uh, during uh, or in between uh, the, the lectures. Our lecture halls uh, are like most universities in Germany, equipped with most uh, state-of-the-art equipment uh, and uh, modern uh, opportunities. Besides uh, studying, also living in Germany, of course, is very important. And I've already seen in the chat, there have been some questions like, what can we do outside of our regular study programs? Well, we are running a couple of uh, student uh, projects at our uh, uh, university. So for example, if you want to work a little bit in the practical field, you can join the team of our electric uh, race uh, bicycle, uh, the Gauss project, uh, where students from different faculties are working together and are doing some real engineering work, or what is also very, very popular among our master students, you can join uh, the faster racing team. Uh, they are now moving from a combustion engine to an electric car, which uh, also will have some uh, autonomous driving features. Uh, so also that, of course, is something which is of, of a high uh, interest to um, engineering students. And of course, also sporting uh, options uh, I think we have around about uh, 20, 30 different sports which are offered on the campus at the university. As I said, our program is already a very old uh, international program. I think it's it's 
probably the oldest international program we have in Germany. We uh, celebrated uh, 25 years of international master this uh, year. And uh, we are really very, very proud that we have a, a truly international community. So this is, is a picture of, of one group of our graduates uh, who graduated uh, one uh, or two weeks ago. And uh, I'm happy that uh, to say that everybody who's on this picture actually had a job before they finished the program. So the job perspectives are really uh, great. All the lectures are held in English. We still see that uh, and feel that uh, German language skills are very important. Uh, our clear goal is that you are able to uh, enter the uh, German or European uh, labor market afterwards. So we will force you to learn German. There's no way around that. Uh, but uh, this is uh, significantly improving your uh, job perspective uh, afterwards. And uh, well, the minimum level you have to achieve will be an A2 level, but most students by now are reaching the level B1 or even B2, which is a pretty good uh, preparation towards the German market. Uh, we have a very strong uh, cooperation with industry. So uh, besides uh, studying two semesters in our program, you will do an internship of one semester in a uh, company in Germany, and then uh, you will do another semester uh, as a master student or in a master thesis inside industry. So half of the program will be inside industry, half of the program will be uh, in the university, which will obviously prepare you very well for your career. Our program is uh, free of tuition fees. Uh, I think this is also a very important uh, argument. And as I said before, uh, we have the clear goal to get you into the German labor market. That's why we're running this program and uh, more than 80% of our graduates are actually entering the uh, German uh, labor market uh, afterwards uh, and to do that in a very, very successful way. Um, well, what are we offering? Uh, we are not a specialized master program. I think this is also a very important difference. We offer the very traditional four major disciplines of electrical engineering and information technology uh, in our program. So you can select one of the four majors, uh, automation, communication, embedded, and power. Um, we are offering and we are very strong on, on providing support. So uh, when you actually decide to apply at our university, we will have a couple of uh, online meetings where we will tell you everything about how to apply, how to, to prepare the housing, uh, how to prepare the enrollment, what do you need to do uh, to be in time in Germany. We support you on APS and all these other uh, formal annoyances we have seen uh, over the last couple of years uh, to happen. We have a, a group of student guides, uh, st senior students who will support you from a student's perspective. They will also pick you up at the airport once you're flying in. They will bring you to your accommodation. They will bring you to the university on the first days so that uh, you're sure that uh, everything is running uh, very smoothly. Well, during your study, we will have uh, a lot of uh, technical bridging classes um, before you're starting. So the official semester, as usually for the winter term, uh, is starting mid of um, October. We are only having an intake for the winter semester, uh, but we expect you to be here on the 1st of September. And then we are using six weeks to give you German classes, first block, to give you technical bridging classes, to make a lot of uh, very nice excursions to Heidelberg, to Mainz, to Bonn, to the House of History, so that you also get a little bit of a background uh, of where you actually have landed and what is offered. At our campus, we also, of course, have uh, services uh, to support you finding internship and master thesis. We have an international career center. We have a very powerful and big uh, international office. We have a student service center. They will help you with all the whereabouts uh, during your stay inside the university. And then the story, of course, continues. You are successfully graduating one day. And uh, we actually belong, believe in a very strong network. So we like to, to stay in contact with you. Um, and a lot of students actually, after a couple of years, they are returning to our university. They are either supervising master's theses by themselves, they are supporting the juniors in entering the labor market, or this uh, year for the very first time, we actually have one of the graduates who graduated uh, four or five years ago to return as a lecturer to our university. Uh, so we really have a very nice close circle. We also like to call it the Master of Science family. Well, how does the program look like? I'm 
just giving you a very brief flyover of the program, uh, please uh, check our website uh, for, for a more detailed uh, description. So we have uh, four majors, uh, major automation. In every major, we will have two um, subjects, uh, which are cross major subjects. So uh, project management and engineering responsibility will be the subject during the winter semester. Uh, similar argument like, like uh, what you have heard in uh, Ingolstadt and uh, Stralsund, uh, having a master degree, you're qualifying yourself for a management or technical lead career. So project management skills, legal skills are required. Um, in the second semester, you will be doing a team project. Uh, so you really will do a very strong hands-on exercise and implement some uh, nice technology. Then we have a couple of uh, mandatory subjects. So a total of uh, seven mandatory subjects, three electives. So a lot of, lot of choice in our program. And uh, basically the similar structure is, is also available for the other majors. Internship will be uh, in the third semester and then a master a thesis in industry in the fourth semester. So you can actually see this very strong focus on getting you into the industry. Communication, similar setup, embedded, a very similar setup, and also power, a very similar setup. Besides uh, having really state-of-the-art labs and, and courses, uh, we also uh, try to, to give you a, a good uh, social experience. So. Uh, during the September of March, during the month of September and March, sorry, uh, besides the technical classes, we will have excursions to Heidelberg, to Bonn, to Mainz, and some other cities. Uh, you can attend career fairs. Uh, we will have intercultural trainings, uh, the German classes. Uh, so there is a lot of activities around the uh, technical lectures to really help you to uh, have a smooth landing in uh, Germany and in Darmstadt. Application. So um, as I said, uh, we are not uh, working with UniAssist. You can apply directly at our program. Um, and your application will be checked by the professors of our faculty. So we are checking and uh, having a look at all your applications, including a motivation letter. We take the time to learn about your motivation. Uh, we typically have around about 1,500 applications every year. Uh, out of these uh, 1,500 applications, we are selecting the top 250 admissions. So we are extremely picky on uh, giving you uh, access. We are really choosing the best. Best doesn't mean that we are just looking for marks or something similar, but we really look at your profile. We look at your working experience. This is highly uh, well appreciated. We look at what you have done before, and then we decide uh, who can join the program. Out of the 250 admissions, typically 125 are getting or are coming to Germany. And then we have an additional 25, 30 German students. So the typical uh, strength of uh, our uh, four uh, majors is uh, around about 140, 150 students, which roughly means that we have around about 35 students per major. So still a comparable, uh, well, nice uh, uh, class size, um, which allows us to really work in a very interactive way. What do we require? Well, we require a bachelor degree in electrical engineering or equivalent. Um, we expect a excellent transcript of records. I'm not putting a mark behind that because uh, marks from international universities cannot really be compared. Like I said, in the last couple of years, I think I've checked around about 20,000 applications. So we have a pretty good feeling what marks in certain universities and subjects uh, do mean. So we are taking that into consideration, but you can roughly well calculate uh, or, or expect that you have to be somewhere in the top 25, 20% uh, of your batch to have a uh, good chance to enter our program. Um, English as language of tuition is not sufficient for us. We simply have made the experience that um, this doesn't really mean that your English, English skills are, are good. So we expect a YIELDS or TOEFL certificate. Doesn't matter whether you have academic or general uh, YIELDS, both is acceptable. And we expect at least a score of 6.5. As I said, working experience is appreciated, German skills are appreciated, and then we are really looking at this large group of applications and decide who can come. Application will be done 
based uh, or in our own portal. I think this is, is pretty straightforward. The application process itself is for free. You don't have to pay anything. Only once you get accepted, you will have to pay some small administrative fees uh, because we have to run this portal. We have to run the staff um, and uh, the costs which are not really covered uh, by uh, the state uh, have to be paid by the students, but this is only one time, a one-time payment. The rest of the program then is for free. The application timeline. Um, very important, we have seen uh, actually this uh, year for the students who applied um, for this uh, winter semester that uh, in India they started with APS. Um, we as a university, we don't need APS. I, I think it's a huge hindrance um, in, in the application process. It doesn't really make sense, but uh, the German state looks at it a little bit different. So you need APS for getting the visa, no matter uh, at which uh, university you are applying, unfortunately. So this is something you should do very, very early. Um, we are starting in December with the electronic application. Then we are deciding, so somewhere mid of April, uh, you will at the very latest get the decision. Typically, those students who are applying earlier will get uh, the decision also a little bit earlier because we will start working uh, on the applications uh, in January. Uh, and then uh, the, our portal will automatically provide you the admission letter and uh, everything else you need. Then we are moving into a second phase uh, where you are preparing your, your visa and your travel. During that phase, we will have a couple of online uh, meetings to actually support in that process. We will have our student guides uh, being available. We can also support you. So there will be a lot of uh, support uh, so that you actually can come to Germany 1st of September, start with the intercultural training, the language courses, the pre-semester closes, all the excursions, and then in the middle of uh, October, start with our program. Yeah. So this as a very brief nutshell of our program. This is a picture of the students who started uh, this uh, year, September. So this was just uh, at the beginning of September, as you can see, it's uh, a very nice, very international, very motivated group. And uh, I would be happy to actually have the one or, or other from you becoming a member of this family in 2024 or one of the years to come. Thank you very much for your attention.